Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars, Night Zero Republic 2. This Sullivan here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. I like to hear his side of the story. Oh, well, thank you, it's very simple. I was at the bar enjoying a drink when these brutes here elbowed their way up to the bar and spilled my regular jaw all over the two of us. Then they dragged me out here. Look at those two, I know what they want, to send me home with my limbs twisted, body battered, and spear broken. They must help me. This doesn't have anything to do with you, stranger. Just move right along. Have a drink in the cantina. Uh, I won't let you lay a hand on him. Just my luck. Someone who wants to be a hero. Why don't you run along before you get hurt? I don't want to fight you. Then you shouldn't have gotten involved. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, we have to fight these guys with our bare hands. Kind of crappy. Yes. What about you? Can you do anything? Battle meditation. Good enough to me. Uh, can you stun? No. Stun the other guy. Yes. Let's take points. <laughs> Time to even the odds. I still don't get why we have to battle these guys with our bare hands. Let's settle this. Get him. <laughs> I mean, you can do it. But it's, it's really difficult. Uh, oh, thank you. It's completely helpless. These mercenaries are too wide. I wish something could be done uh, about them. I'm really allowed to do this. The DSF isn't able to do much to keep the peace on these regions. It's hard to make mercenaries that can't control. The Republic wants to do something about this, but it's anyone with gas such as whether or not they will. You should leave in case their friends come looking for you. Speak the truth, I will stay away from this continent until things settle. Please accept this reward. Thank you. No, no, thank you. I'll be more careful in the future. Alright, so we get monies. I mean, you could say no. Keep your credits, uh, but you will not get them. But you will get light side points. So. Ooh. Okay. Stuff credits. All right, let's go, go get our stuff back. I don't f like fighting barehanded, and you have to pass those guys in order to get your stuff. So I mean, it's like lose lose because your stuff is around here. Hello. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? Um, yeah, he said I can get my stuff. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. What do you mean gone? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen, and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now, <laughs> laughing at us, laughing at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebonhawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in Residential Module 082 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. I can't get my possessions back at least. Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. 
You will find them in one of the security lockers. What am I supposed to do now? I am not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the Exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest, beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. Tell me about the Exchange. The Exchange is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel, most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in Residential Module 082, is a front for the Exchange on Citadel Station. <laughs> is there anything more the TSF can do? Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our offer of free room and board. What am I supposed to do now? Oh wait, we already did this. Fine. I'll be going. Can we open this door? Hmm. Alright, well... There's actually somebody there we need to talk to, but... I want my stuff. Yes? Nothing. Go away. Actually, talking to her might not be a bad idea. No. I want to open this one. Did I get them all? Empty. This one isn't. There. Now we get all that crap back. Let's talk to this guy. I'll have to equip my stuff later. Something I can help you with? How do we recover the destruction from the progress facility? To be honest with you, I just don't know. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. How oh, bad? There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit, and for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. Uh, can't the Republic increase funding for the station? If only it were that easy. The Republic's tight on credits right now, still recovering from the war. They're sparing all they can, but it's not enough. We relied almost completely on Paragus for our fuel. It's hard to make up for a planet's worth of fuel exports. Anything that can be done. Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. If I can help, I'd like to. You? You've got enough trouble, I think. And this is all your fault anyway. So you still think I'm to blame? Look, it doesn't matter what I think. But sure, if you find someone with a load of fuel in their hand they'd like to sell to us, let me know. I'll be waiting. Alright. Let's see if there's something I can else. help. Uh, and do you have any work I can do? Would you be interested in helping us by bringing in some bounties? Tell me about these bounties. This isn't a bounty, so to speak. But we're looking for a man named Batono who's been missing for some time. Also, two ruthless killers that we'd managed to capture and hold here in the TSF station escaped and are currently at large. We're also looking for any information about the imposter Batu Rem. Uh, tell me about this guy. Batono was the overseer of dock operations for Zerka, and was assisting us in uncovering the elusive black market smuggling operation that appears to be operating at a Citadel station. A few weeks ago, he suddenly disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Oh, why do you need my help? This sounds something like that. Oh, do you have any leads? Not much, other than what I've already told you. And the fact he was investigating Docking Bay 3. Docking Bay 3. I spoke with some Zerka guards near the Docking Bay, but they didn't seem like they wanted to cooperate with a TSF officer. Maybe you'll have more luck. I'll see what I can dig up. Thank you. Keep me updated. Um, what about the other ones? What is it? Uh, tell me about Batu Rem. You mean the assassin who tried to kill you, right? The real Batu Rem's one of us, and he's off the station on leave. I hope Batu's okay, though I'm expecting the worst. Shame. He was a good kid. Uh, is there any way to find out about the killer's movements on the station? Yes, we looked into it and found that he arrived via a tramp freighter in Docking Bay 3. Unfortunately, the cargo and passenger manifest as well as departure location was not disclosed to us. That's all the information I have for you. I'll see what I can dig up. If you find anything about the real Batu Rem, we'd like to know if he's safe. Hmm. What is it? 
They were spotted by security cameras in the docking area, and we quickly moved in to apprehend them. We captured them shortly after you were placed under house arrest. Some sort of electrical malfunction, a side effect of the false Batu Rem's attack, enabled them to escape. They overpowered their guards and escaped into the Citadel. Hmm. Do you think someone was behind their escape? I can't imagine anyone would want the help of killers like them. Perhaps the exchange, but they've never openly crossed us before. How do you know about the crimes? There are two of them. A Rhodian and a Deveronian. They're well armed and obviously extremely dangerous. They haven't left the station as far as we know. See what I can do, yeah. Alright, just be careful. We've already lost two good officers to them. Alright then. <sighs> so we picked up some... Oh, this is where we were being held. Picked up some information about these guys. We'll see if we can find them. But first, let's um, go to the cantina. See if there's anything we can do there. Hmm. Bet you this is where the dancer is. <laughs> Yes, this is where the dancer is. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Excellent. Cool. Ah, so you must be the Jedi everyone's been whispering about. No more trouble with the TSF, I hope. Can I help you? Perhaps you don't know who I am? Can't say that I do. You haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Benok, the man in charge of Lopak Slusk's protection. You do know who Lopak Slusk is, don't you? The two gentlemen with me are Matu and Nahata. Slusk's finest men, other than me, of course. Oh, leave the man alone, Benok. I bet he'd come out on top if you fought. Now, look, uh, I meant no disrespect. You're probably Slusk's strongest woman. It's your skin, Benok. Just warning you, Slusk could easily replace you. Uh, I don't want any trouble. And I doubt you could cause any. Trading jabs with Luxa is hardly the entertainment I was looking for. Let's go. Oh, boy. Mm. She'll come into play later. I don't know if I want to. Hello there. Hmm. Fresh blood at the cantina. Enjoy. Your drinks are on me. We should talk. Later. Who are you? If you're asking me that, handsome, you're better off not knowing. Tell you what. You just enjoy yourself, and if in the future we have business together, you can come back and we'll have a little chat. All right. <laughs> um, here's more stuff, but I don't know if I want to start anything just yet. Yeah, I'm going to cut the episode here a little bit. Next time, we'll see if we can find more stuff here in the cantina to do. And I'll have equip all my stuff off screen and all that. So, I'll be back. Godspeed, stay frost again. See you next time. Bye.